LFL Bible Five in the Light Heavyweight Division is scheduled five rounds of five minutes. Referees, Mr. Daniel Sharifi. Here we go, the inaugural LFL yes, light heavyweight please. title. Okay, guys, five rounds, five, five minutes, minutes, and we're going to see a champion the crowned in under 25 minutes. We've talked about it a bit already, and we will continue in this fight. The body type difference is, is noticeable. People all often realize that the longer fighter has an advantage at distance, they also have an advantage in close with leverage sometimes. And that's what I think we'll watch for with Bahati, trying to get in tight and use his height and leverage and body shape to get on top and get his man down. And here we go, one fighter is under 25 minutes away from being crowned champion. Good choice by Letts, who jumped down the legs from Bahati. Yeah. Take away that power. Big punch from Bahati there. Your right hand and a whizzing left hook sails by for Lech. We can see so far Lech is not intimidated by the size difference at all. Bahati double jab right hand and then a simple front kick. They're really, really keeping it simple until he gets a chance to get a body lock or a leg. Smart. And it's been a quite a high octane start for a five rounder. Good leg kicks by Lech so far. We said this at the beginning and often, you know. Oh. Nice body kick. Is, uh, these guys, guys are finishers, you, you know, and 25 minutes is, would be a Good punches by Lech. Oh. oh, Bahati drops down for a double. He had to. Can he yeah, finish he it now? To. Let's head him hurt. Good job so controlling the wrist. For Bahati, you can slow it down here, too. You know? Like, nice. he's not. He's dropping down and exploding into trying to get... See yeah, what he can do with this. Beautiful. Oh, it's got lovely work. And then immediately throws the, the left arm up high over top so he can advance and now into side control. Go to the side control. Got very easy there. there. Looks like... Yeah, steps over step the head. Over no, Good but defense let's... by Ledge. So Bahati came up covering up. Yep. Right? You can come up throwing overhand. or you can come up defending. And Bahati came up defending. Right before the takedown, where he got the control of, Ledge landed a couple big shots. It could be dangerous here for Ledge, but he's back up. Bahati's throwing a lot into these strikes. Like it'll it'll fatigue you pretty quick when you put everything into everything. And yeah, Bahati's so. left eye is swelling up. Yeah, he ate some shots in some of those early exchanges, but he's doing well now. He's having a good a good phrase or a good few phrases. You know, that was a nice meet, knee to meet uh, Lech as well. Good punches again by Lech. Bahati covers and fires. Yep. And him firing back there was key, you know, really key. He got the double again, yeah, trying to close his hands. Time. He's gonna lift him again. It looks like he's got them closed. Yep. yep. He got it last time. Wider stance now by Latch. Yeah, good job, good defense. Yeah, that wide hip makes it difficult. How does Latch get off the fence here? Oh, like that. Yeah, well, he eats Striking one. his way out. Yeah, he punched his way out, but he also ate a knee. Good body kicks by, by Bahati every single time. Yeah. Good punch there. Nice straight right from Bahati. Some of those some of those kicks will will freeze the arms too. When, when you got a guy like Bahati just winging, oh. fully committing, they'll just fry your arms. Yeah, he won't be writing letters to come and read. He'll be dictating them. So okay, we're three minutes down in smart. this oh, nice. smart. Nice ledge. Yeah, very smart. Perfect time. And, and the, the, those elbows are legal, and you can go to the collarbone, which he's doing, and, and that can be real rough, too. Those are little chicken bones compared yeah. to the elbows. Oh, it's a oh, nice. so oh, close. He, he almost hit a really nice sweep. Yeah. Gorgeous work, so oh. close. But that overhand is going to be there for Lech, especially with Bahati's yeah. eyes closing up. What's it like, Stefan, if you get a, you know, a shot like that that just causes such swelling around the eye? How much does it affect your vision? It affects your vision. You don't want to get hit there again because it already hurts, and another punch is going to really end your fight. So, but you you don't see shots coming from the from the left anymore. So, Bahati is is fearlessly firing now in these exchanges, which is good for him. 
but also bad for him <laughs> because he's not really Bahati's not really paying attention to his defense in there when he was fired, but nice he did what change. he needed to do. Yeah. Great take now. Crazy Run. first round back and forth. I know for a five round fight, a light heavyweight, these guys are leaving it all out there. He's doing a good job passing. He's in control, but again, he's on his knees. I want to see him off his knees, so he puts mm -hmm. all his weight on ledge. Mm -hmm. And then you're driving from the balls of the feet, maybe, yeah. Yep, and then when you get off your okay. knees, you get all that weight from Bahati on your, on your chest. You can't breathe. You're already you really tired. You only got 13 seconds. You want to land punches here. Great job by oh, Ledge, lost though. It. Very up nice. Up kicks here. Ledge knows how to get back up. Yes, he does. He uses his body. He's, he's short, and he uses that into his advantage. Stop. We're at the end of the first round. What an incredible first round for this yeah. LFL light heavyweight title that. fight. And one, honestly, fellas, how would you judge that? Who, who, who came on top? I would Each not. of them had their moments. I would say, I, I'm out. I'm not judging this. I, like, I, would, I don't know. Yeah, oh. You're going to flip a coin. They both had great moments. Yeah, great takedowns by Bahati, but the striking was for ledge, in my opinion. So Bahati with some big kicks, so it depends how you value those. But yeah, like here, when you see ledge, he, he had two sequences like that where he threw and landed a lot, but then two big doubles. That yeah. I love when the arm comes up so quickly like that and you start advancing even before he hits the ground. But then Let's got one too. He does a great job going what around the head like that, but what then he stays round. on his knees. Yes. When you wanna, right. when you have the arm around the head like that, oh, you want to shoulder pressure him. Yeah. Yeah. But when you stay on your knees, you cannot shoulder pressure him. You're right. And he's such a big, strong guy. So get off your knees, yep. is what I would tell yep. him. But. And he will, when he watches this back, he'll be like, yeah, you know, Stefan was right. If I can get on the balls of my feet, I can drive my shoulder in. This oh. is what Ledge did well twice with this. Ferocious Bahati. start again by Ledge. Bahati. Level changed, but doesn't have anything. One of two things is going to happen. Somebody's gonna finish the other inside the next seven minutes, or it's gonna be a slow grinder for the last 12. Yep. Punch Actually, there for yeah, Bahati. Good but stuff. Time, good selection of time, but. Oh, he's a good job yeah. with these level changes. Yeah. Times them really well. Yeah, so. He's gotta pull his legs from underneath yep. him. Scoop it with your leg, no? Or just scoop it out. Good job by Led. Yeah, very nice. When the two feet down. Yep. They're, look at them both breathing hard now. We're only six minutes into this 25 minute fight. And they both really went for that idea of let's get this thing done. We'll both push ourselves hard and one of us will be done. And neither one's done. And remember, this is the LFL inaugural light heavyweight title fight, and it's been off to the absolute races so far, with each man pushing the other into deep, dark waters already. If I'm Bahati's corner, I'm not minding any of this. Nope. Like, if we can stay here controlling wrists, controlling bicep, you know, staying on the inside, nope. picking away, not spending too much effort, what, what's the rush to get this to the ground? We're winning here. No, I agree, but I want to see him throw the knees, throw the elbows, and then do that level change again, because he, yeah. he did a really good job with those double legs, but he didn't do anything with them on the ground, but still, it takes a lot for Les to get back up from those two. Yeah. Oh, oh, little wobble. There he goes. Was that a fake? I don't think so. I think the wobble was real, but the, but the attempt to take down was, you know, a reaction to it. Bahati gets put on his back. We saw Bahati almost sweep him twice when he was down there. Get so, his arm underneath yeah. him, nice job. He knows what really he's good. doing here. Yep. Even from the bottom and come up with a single here. All he's got to do is get his leg behind yeah. him. Drive on it. Yep. Good job. Good Go job knees. by Let. It's going to be hard to finish. Knees Any to the choke body. with yeah. that neck. There's knees to the body oh, here. Oh, he's oh, 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 but would be hard with Letcher's body stature, I guess, the the squatness of him and the, yeah. just the, the size of Bahati's neck and shoulders would make that tough. Yeah. But what an attempt. Letcher's really throwing some interesting things oh. out there. Bahati is like having to edit his own. He was going for a takedown, then it wasn't there, and then he hesitated. Now his body's not quite doing what he wants it to do, which is, you know, it's a really, really terrible feeling when you're asking your body to do a thing and, it, and it's not really quite doing it because it's tired. 
and you're in a cage fight. If someone is attacking you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That sucks oh, anytime. Oh, beautiful by Lech. Oh. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. But hot, Lech is getting tired, though, too, and that's going to add a little extra burn. Good level change again. Yeah. See if he can still finish this. And then if he does, you know, can he stabilize it? Because he didn't do that through round nope. one. He'll get this. Nice. And he's full. So, he's get off your knees. Yeah, he is. No, nope. he's back on him. Put that weight on him because yeah. his body is screaming for oxygen. That's so right. Don't give him any. <laughs> they call it 10,000 kilos sometimes in, in uh, Brazilian <laughs> Jiu Jitsu. That yep. You create this 10,000 kilo cross body. It's the only way to, to, to teach someone is to have them feel it. <laughs> it's true. I love doing that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they love that, it. That was sadist, didn't you? Yeah. Ask my students. <laughs> So we hear Bahati is looking to attack Lech's arm here. Trying for a crucifix, I yeah. think. Yeah. And he's got something, I, I think, yeah, yeah, he's got a the, the right arm. No, it's not there. Shoulder pressure here, but got to get up. Now you get the mount. No, nope, mount. The good timing on the bump, the simple bump by Lech gets himself back into, into half, but then he just offers up the side control. Lech, they're both tired, man. They're both tired. But I know who I'd rather be if I was tired in this situation. Yeah, the guy on the top, for sure. He was going to play with a straight arm bar. I'd be the guy in the microphone. <laughs> yeah, way better. As we spoke about the judging decisions, I'm glad we're here yeah. watching this and not having to judge it and just enjoying this fantastic spectacle. More yeah. attempt over here. Yeah, he's got, uh, he's got a... He steps to... Yeah. But will there be, but will yeah, there be time? Yeah. There we go. Oh, the end of the second round. Oh, so yeah, he was going to roll yeah. from half guard to underneath, which you would never want to do. But if you got 30 seconds left, maybe, maybe you do. Yeah, that eyes. Maybe that's his move. Yeah. Usually you want to step over the head, but it mm -hmm. seems like he wanted to step back into half guard yeah. after and he roll looked up the Kimura yeah. and then roll under. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been intriguing. He knows if what he's were. doing. Like I'm gonna that, try it on him Tuesday. Yeah. It, he wasn't making that up. Clearly, like you said, that's a, that's something that's in his. You know, in his spider web of game, right? Yeah. Would have been intrigued for 30 more seconds there to see if he could have done anything with it. But let's have a look at some of these highlights sponsored by Boom Productions here. Here's the yeah. Peruvian necktie yeah. attempt. Yeah, dig it. Yeah. Oh. But he's got the leg. He, he had the leg. Uh, this is a lot of work at this stage. And then, yeah, let's One see. Out. Steps purposefully well, into half guard. And then he wants to roll, roll through. He lets him roll. Yeah, oh. yeah. He purposefully, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It was a, it was a, a system that he's got. And you can see there the swelling around Bahati's left eye. So far, it doesn't look to have gotten substantially worse since the first mm -hmm. round, but one to keep a, well, excuse the pun, an eye on. Yeah. They uh, got to work on it a little bit. Yep. Stefan, actually, you see that roll through to attack the Kimura a lot in submission grappling. Uh -huh. You don't see it a lot when people can punch you, but with only 30 Ooh. seconds left, not a bad idea. Yeah, when someone, when you're on top of someone, you can punch. I that was Lech is putting bad. some shots in here. This Trying to finish bad. the fight. Bahati's going to have to show something, otherwise yeah. the referee's going to get gonna involved. Roll him over. Yeah, Bahati's oh, coming up. Oh, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh, gorgeous yeah. reversal. What a sweep. Yeah. And now Bahati is back where he finished the last round, but, side control, but with a lot more time to work. Bahati's a groovy grappler, man. Like, he, he's he's got little games that that most people don't even play anymore because in MMA, they're risky. But the reason he makes him work is because most people don't play him anymore. So they're unfamiliar little choices. Very, very, you know, familiar in submission grappling and yep. no-gi grappling, but less so in uh, in professional cage fighting. Yeah, he doesn't mind up, he doesn't mind giving up position to try and finish a, a, a crazy submission. Yep. But I love watching it yeah. as a coach. His coaches hate him. Yeah, his coaches. <laughs> yeah, it's but, true. But you know. they've they've been the sequences that have worked well for him yeah. here tonight. So they they're, know, they're yeah. not hating that. Even that reversal there. That reversal was created through the understanding of how your body weighs less when you raise your hand for a hammer fist. There's yeah. a moment when it, when your opponent's hammering you, he weighs less. Let's see if he gets this Beautiful one again. Level change. Yeah. Locks his hands again and. Let's see if he can complete Lech another one of those gonna go up. He's got his legs pretty wide, though. Yep. And then what happens is your your hands slip over the butt again, and then you're back. Yep. And now your again. head's too low. 
His head's too low. He might get reversed here. No, he gets his head back up. And again, you're tired here, but so is your opponent. Yep. So you can go back to work, little chips, elbows, knees, knees, the thighs, whatever, slow it down for 30 seconds and then try it again. You don't have to rush it when you're both so tired and you're two big dudes, you know, in round three of an exhausting title fight. Yeah, we're almost halfway through now, the full fight for this light heavyweight title fight, and it has been a roller coaster so far. Slowing down a little bit now as both of these huge men are just taking a little bit of a breather, but. Stop, stop, stop. Last time. He's you warning him about the cage. Okay? Last time, don't grab the cage, okay? Come. Fight. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's hard to do the right thing when the wrong thing protects you. Oh, big punches yeah. by Lesh. Lesh is actually getting, is letting his hands go. And Bahati's going to answer back. Nice kick. Bahati, oh, is Bahati oh, going to shoot here? Bahati can take it. Yeah. He, he can take it. No, there is zero doubt on the toughness of either man here. He can take it and not become discouraged. In fact, He's been around enough to know that when you're punching him, you can't also protect yourself. So he'll answer in those exchanges too. And you know, he knows his way to victory. It's not like he cannot take him down. He's taken him down a, a, a bunch of times, yeah. you know? So he knows, he knows he can win this fight. Yes. It's, it's different when you cannot take the guy down and you get hit like that. Right. So but when you know you can, okay. yeah. There you, go. Ah, you know, if the toe catches the cup, sometimes okay. that does hurt. But if you're really, really tired, even if it doesn't hurt, let's just play it up a little bit. And I'm not Thank judging. He might be time. really hurt. Thank but it's still good strategy to take the time here if you can get okay. it. It's a game okay. chip, right? Yeah. Go. Part of the game. Ready? Right. Fight. Your job is to use the rules, the playing surface, the referee, your other guy, the equipment, everything to the best of their ability and your ability. That's the job. And both of these men are doing their job very well. Oh, oh yeah, that was sick. Nice calf kick. It just caved. Yep. Question is, is has Bahati hurt his knee here or was it because he oh. Stop. It looked more like a slip. Yeah. Yeah. It did wobble the leg, like you saw the leg. Let's take a look. Yeah, smart. Go right back to it. Yep. Bahati should have a right hand ready for it. He switched stances. That's not a coincidence. No. no let's recognize it. He stopped throwing those kicks in the second round, but now he's like, I'm very tired. I want to end this fight. Yeah. My leg kicks kind of kind of work. Yeah. yeah. And he smelt some blood in the water, and like a shark, he headed towards it. So Bahati's the double jab right hand. He he believes in that. Very simple. We've got just under 15 seconds left in this third round of our light heavyweight title fight. Great over hand by Ledge. <laughs> Sometimes he's just got to fight. You there's, know what I mean? There's no quitting these guys. No. Sometimes it's all these fancy things and great strategies and tactics. Sometimes he's got to throw knuckles. The end of the third round. And both of them are down for that. Yeah, both these guys are leaving absolutely everything on the line out here. Stefan, if you had to give that round to one fighter. I know, I'm sorry, it's a hard question to be dropping on you because I don't know the answer either. So many questions, you yeah, asked me that question. <laughs> no, this, this round was really, really close. This really can go either way, so. And the, the same can be said for the first round, so the judges have a hard job tonight. It's he, very close. He was a beautiful reversal of, yeah. um, by Bahati that we saw. Yeah, they, they call it a fat man roll, yeah. but it's not really a fat man roll when Bahati does that. No. It's like a very big muscular <laughs> very guy muscular roll. muscular man yeah. roll. We'll call it a bodybuilder roll. One seconds that? out for sure. round four. Oh. And there was the little leg yeah. kick Robin that put yeah. Bahati down. Yeah, it was that he kicked it out. It, it didn't collapse because something was wrong with the leg, although, I, hey, I can't speak for him. I'm sure it hurts like crazy. But he just Got kicked it out. Ball. Your weight's on it. Somebody, it's like kicking the chair out of a leg. A leg out of a chair. Here we are, the fourth out of five rounds in our inaugural light heavyweight title fight at LFL. And we have Lech and Bahati really leaving it all out there and throwing them bungalows. I really didn't think we would see a fourth round, and it's not because I didn't believe they were tough. 
Uh, and they are. Oh. oh, there's a hard one. It's because they just are both so dangerous. Well, remember that first round, both of them came out swinging, looking like they were going to finish it in those five minutes. And now, you know, we, we hear phrases used over and over for our whole lifetimes, but like, war of attrition, that's one of those. Like, it really is about grit and toughness and desire, and oh, there's a hard oh. right. And the ability to overcome, you know, the inability to move. Like, it's hard to move and lift your hands and all these things because you're tired, exhausted. Nice little sequence. And Ledger still hunting for that overhand right. It's a good weapon for the shorter man, for sure. Nice spinning kick. Mm -hmm. And throwing the spinning back fist earlier kind of you know, sets you up to throw the kick instead. He's got really good leg kicks. Mm -hmm. Want to see him throw more of those, especially because Bahati's not checking any of them. He checked a few in round one, and then, uh, you know, it requires a... There, that's deep, you know. Almost reversed them. Mm. He but, gets in. But Bahati seems to be having a bit less success with that in the later rounds. Yeah. Is this just a muscular or is it more of a technique thing? Yeah, that, He's that, holding the fence again. Yeah, he will get... If you lose a point okay. in a very okay. close fight, that can be the difference now. Yep. It really can. Like, you just... You can't make that error. You can't do that to yourself. The referee was looking at it yeah, very yeah, intently. Yeah, we didn't see him signal to the judges, but it could have been one yeah. for sure. Not, yeah, he didn't. He'll let us know if he is going to take one away. Smart for Let to, to spend some time there. Like, just try to trap him into making one more infraction. That's the easiest way to get a point you can possibly get is make him lose one. Yeah, it'd be a very clever strategy if he's uh, if that's on his mind and it's not just how to survive these mm. next couple of minutes. Yeah. Bahati's got double under, so look at he's just so, trying so uh, I see fingers in there. I see that three, two of the uh, left fingers are in there. But. Yeah, I, I guess for so the So close. You don't want to do it, but yeah. you want to do it. Know, it's just, <laughs> just give me it's, some. Yeah, it's so hard to, you know. Nice when, level change by Latch here. Like the, good defense. The biggest thing that, that uh, there's so many things that are hard to comprehend, but, but among them is the, your biggest challenge in a fight is to try to get yourself to overcome yourself. Yep. You know, you want them to, you want to move away even though you should move forward. You don't want to grab those, that fence, but it's right there. Like, you have to overcome your own decision making. The, your brain will sell you out if you're not prepared to overcome it. Oh, that was a beautiful yeah. left there that took Bahati to take a few steps back. Uh, the biggest, my biggest takeaway in this fight, not not a surprise, but like a, a kind of a cool aspect, is how tough Bahati is. Yeah. Like, you know, when you're a guy who's brown belt, likes, you know, wins fights on the ground, and you got a shorter guy smashing away at you, and you keep coming forward and kicking and answering, like, Bahati's having a rugged fight, win or lose. Yeah, both men can be proud of this performance, whatever happens at the end of it. it you know, we don't want to judge it because, I mean, what? It's impossible. I don't know what's going on right now. You know, <laughs> having fun watching a great fight with you guys. But Bahati, or Lech, has also, you, it's easy to credit the guy who's taken a lot of punches. But why is he taking punches? Because Lech has thrown a lot. He's, he's firing at him. He's pushing forward. You know, they're both having a great fight. They really are. And if we get the last five minutes, it's going to be the hardest five minutes of both of their lives. Yeah, at this at this stage in a fight, four, you know, four rounds in, Stefan, they've been pushing each other. What, what, what's your body feeling like? Um, you're lucky if you still feel your body. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's the answer. Yeah, but that's a good answer. It's trying to find oxygen somewhere, yeah. trying to find a way to win, but this guy is not working the with you. The end of round four. And then you you're you're. Your brain keeps saying, there's another round coming. You got to figure something out because we're not going to make it. Yeah. But it's it, it's so hard to describe. And, uh, you know, 
just willing yourself to keep going. Most humans, when they're exhausted, stop. Yep. You can roll over, you can give up your back, you don't want to do it, you wish you couldn't do it, you'd do anything to not do it, but you find yourself suddenly doing it. Because uh -huh. you can't breathe, and you can't move, and you... But these guys aren't. They're just pushing through and pushing through and pushing through. And we all like to think we'd be the person who runs into the burning house and saves the baby, you know, or lifts the car Rock off the woman out. or fights what through round five of the tough fight. Final but you don't know start. if you're that guy. And on every night, you're not that guy. But they're that guy tonight. And here we are in the final championship round of the inaugural light heavyweight title fight. Both men, my God, they've been brawling and sprawling and leaving it all out there. And this is the round that could decide it. I'm just happy I didn't put money on this because I was sure that this fight wasn't going to no. go 25 minutes. No. Yeah. Inside the distance. I would, have, I would have lost my house. The last fight of Romeo. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go, the final round in the final fight of LFL number seven. In five minutes or so, we will see a new champion crowned. Oh, beautiful left high kick at Brockton. Just firing away. Comes off a sprint step every time. He's locked into his yeah. hands. Yeah, if he he's got it, he's got it. Not he's gonna find the drive. Yes, eyes. he gets it. That could be huge in this fight. He's trying for that wrist. Yep. Bahati is hipping away. He's on the thigh. It's almost, you know, like working his way to a mount and trying to keep weight on Bahati, but Bahati's giving up his back to give him to get up, like Stefan's been talking about all night. Yeah, and he's controlling the wrist. Now he lost the wrist, but as long as you have the wrist and he's going to your back, there's, there's nothing happening there. It's good he recognized that. Now he's got to push down on his wrist, get his hips forward, and get back up. You there see you go. the got left. Wrist. There you go. Nice. There was a foot entanglement at the bottom, but he freed it. So, yeah. And you, among the things, yeah, you can break the wrist, break the grip, or you can stick your elbow in and try to rotate in. He, he broke the grip. Uh huh. He's going yeah, back he's down. Going back down to it. Yep. That's smart. Um, can he get his hands together? That's the key here, correct? That's. There are certain. Wrestling coaches, when you're in the room with them, they're like, once your hands are are connected, it is your responsibility to get this to the ground. Like, there are a particular wrestling coaches who are like, if you get that grip, you must take him down. Uh -huh. I'm seeing Bahati reverse that position nicely and is now having a chance to put some of his weight up against the action and make it work. Yeah, smart, slow it down a little bit. This guy's the little, the smaller guy has more pep in the first two minutes of this round. So let's weigh on him a little bit. He weighed 230 pounds. He's taken you down and thrown a lot of punches. Maybe he's tired now. You got, you know, but you, but you know, Bahati wants to to finish this fight in the last two minutes on top. Of course, because so far in this fight, it was uh, actually got the takedown. Yeah, in this round, yeah, it's true. Bahati wants to be on top. But nice Lech, shot. Yeah. He's controlling the inside, his ledge. When you control the inside, you get the shorter distance to the, t to the targets, and the defensive systems are, are controlled and pushed to the outside. Oh, beautiful head kick. <laughs> Follow-up punches. Some more heavy shots coming in, coming in there by Lech. Bahati's gonna try to get the hips again. You see it, there it is. Just, his body won't do what he wants it to do. Great job, Alec. Yeah. Beautiful. Turn him around real fast. I don't know who's won what rounds, but Lech has more in these final two minutes, and that's really important to this fight. Yeah, if there was any hint of a draw before, which I think we could say there's a high probability, Lech is pulling ahead in this one, but you know, let's not assume we know what the judges are thinking no. or that we'd want to be them because this fight is... Uppercuts, beautiful work by Ledge here in the fifth round. Heavy punches. And you can see Bahati's nose is bloodied and streaming. And he's oh. having a hard time getting his body. See how he's pushing his jab? He doesn't want to push his jab, but his body won't snap it. It's just all beat up. It's all tired. Oh, but the hands on the hips are the anecdotal sign of exhaustion. Bahati's got nothing left. Yeah, that, that last kick he threw was slow. 
He's just back fist anything. Just trying to get his hand to use, trying to get his body to use his hand as a weapon. The question here, if Lesh has enough in the tank, he could, he could really push this. He's tired too. Beautiful. Great timing, very surprising. Bahati didn't count on that. Great elbows, though. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, down, lovely yeah. stuff. Those elbows were, were targeted nicely, but yep. but this sequence, getting back up, is going to be exhausting for both of these guys. That's a really tough fight, man. These are a hard 29 minutes, Two 25 of fighting and four breaks. And this is a good position for Lech to finish the fight. Yeah. Just making life a little, just continually painful until the last second for Bahati. Yeah. Making sure that Bahati needs to ice his leg in, tomorrow as well. Yeah, for sure. In the judging criteria, they don't actually use the word damage, but that is what is intended. Yep. Who does more? Who's more offensive? Who? And the answer to that was been the end of the fifth round, And there we have the it. End of yeah. fight. Congratulations to both fighters. What a fantastic performance for LFL's inaugural light heavyweight title. Both men showed pure warrior spirit from start to finish. We had a little bit of everything in there, and I wouldn't yeah. like to be the judges, but whoever no. ends up with the belt here, it's well deserved. Yaroslav Yech, uh, Alec, had more offense most rounds. So would I be surprised if the judges gave him four, three, four, or even five? I would not. However, you know, we're paying attention to a million things, and we're not seeing what they're seeing or thinking how they're thinking, but he, he had a lot of sequences like this through most rounds where he was firing and he was the offensive fighter, yeah. and that's what they score. And so don't be surprised if he gets three or four of those rounds. But it's tough then. Also, in those early rounds in particular, Bahati was taking Lex down True. and controlling him a lot there, there. So exactly like you're saying, Robin, yeah. we don't know precisely what the judges are looking at, how they're balancing, how they even split around where Lex is firing hands and Bahati yeah. is taking him down. A job I'm glad I do not have this evening. And I'm instead sitting with you, lovely gentlemen, and discussing this terrific, terrific end to what has been a fantastic LFL card. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's been great to be here. One really fight enjoyed the my of the ring, please. Great fights. Yeah, and it's lovely to see Amsterdam at the center of well, the Well, first MMA of all, community. ladies and gentlemen, a big and big applause for these two fighters. Yaroslav Lech and Yannick Bahati. One of the five rounds of five minutes, we've counted the points that we have a unanimous decision in favor of the man in the blue corner, Yaroslav Lech. What a performance. Yaroslav Lech is LFL's first ever light heavyweight champion, and you can see how much it means to him there. And there's Donovan, the governor, putting the belt, and Lech can hardly believe it, but what a performance from that man. Yeah, becoming champion after a fight like that. Lech, yeah. Very fulfilling. You were so excited. You, uh, Donovan was holding your belt, and you were jumping around. Did you forget that you just won the title? Sorry so much, emotions. I am uh, trying very hard to this battle. Uh, I suppose five uh, rounds. I know uh, Yannick wanted to finish it so fast, the same like me. But uh, it's MMA, you know. Uh, I learned uh, some time ago uh, when my enemy is. Uh, I have to uh, have uh, yeah, 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 come and wait, wait, wait. Thank you so much for my trainer. Uh, his, uh, his doping was uh, amazing. I uh, learned him uh, and I tried to do everything like we planned. 25 minutes like that with a man of his size and skill, that's exhausting. You just have to keep pushing and pushing. How tough was he tonight? I don't know, it's uh, only his mystery. Uh, Yannick, I know he's a very hard, very big, very strong fighter. I know his name, uh, I saw his fight. We tried to find lax of his uh, game. Uh, but uh, I'm also hard and when he hit me, I uh, had to try, try my, my plan. And finally, we got this. 
What? Know so much. So, so what more can I say? I, I can feel how delighted you are and how proud you are. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, thank you guys both for a fantastic fight and congratulations. You're the new LFL light heavyweight champion. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you this organization. Thank you Headmaster for this chance. Thank you David Valasic for, for uh, this chance. Uh, thank you so much. All my fans. Thank you. Congratulations. Yaroslav Lech.